The Infinix Zero X Pro has the potential of being the best smartphone Infinix has ever produced. With the right pricing, the Infinix Zero X Pro will do well in the market, and that's because it has some features that you won't find in any other Infinix smartphone. Like if you compare the Infinix Zero X Pro to the Infinix Note 10 Pro, or if you compare the Infinix Zero X Pro to the Infinix Zero 8 of last year, the Infinix Zero X Pro is far different and unique and better. And that's because it brings different features that are exciting that I've never seen on any other Infinix smartphone. So with the right pricing, there's the potential of it doing well in the market. The smartphone might likely launch in September or October. So if you're in Africa or Asia, between late September and early October, you can get the smartphone. But again, this is not a review. This video is a spec revelation, specs revelation. So I won't advise you to base your judgments on this video. But instead, I will advise you wait for my full review of the Infinix Zero X Pro. When it drops, I'm going to do an unboxing and full review of the smartphone on this channel. And then I'll give you my honest opinion if you can go for it or not. But in the meantime, let's check some of the most fascinating features that the Infinix Zero X Pro brings. Also, if this is your first time of being here, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the post bell. You can also follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at SmileG. I will link it below in the description. Now, one of the cool features that the Infinix Zero X Pro made amendments or work on is the punch hole. The Infinix Zero X Pro is going to have a center punch hole notch, just like we saw on the Infinix Note 10 Pro. However, there will be a slight difference. The punch hole on the Infinix Zero X Pro is smaller than what you get on the Infinix Note 10 Pro. If you look at this picture on the screen, the Infinix Zero X Pro screen or punch hole on the screen is smaller on the right hand side than what you get on the Note 10 Pro which is bigger. So this tiny punch hole that you've seen on smartphones like Galaxy 52 and Redmi Note 10 Pro is what Infinix Zero X Pro is going to bring. Now that is a massive improvement. Moreover, the screen won't be cold. The Tecno Phantom X I have here is expensive and one reason it was expensive is because of the curved edge screen. Curved edge screen is very expensive and it doesn't really add value. Just because the screen is curved doesn't make it any better. So I still prefer flat display to curved screen anytime, any day. Now the Infinix Zero X Pro has made amendment. It's going to come with a flat screen. And this flat screen is going to be the same size with the Infinix, with the Tecno Phantom X. So you'll be having 6.7 inches flat screen on the Infinix Zero X Pro. So comparing the Infinix Zero X Pro to the Infinix Note 10 Pro, the Note 10 Pro screen is way bigger that we had 6.95 inches almost the size of a tablet but in the case of the Infinix Zero X Pro what you get is just a compact 6.7 inches display and trust me you are going to love it the display or the panel quality is OLED it's super AMOLED display so that will enrich the quality and the brightness and the color will also be improved compared to IPS LCD screen. And one of the most impressive features is the fact that it comes with 120 Hz refresh rate. Yeah, previous Infinix smartphones had 90 Hz refresh rate, but the Infinix Zero X Pro, for the first time, an Infinix smartphone is going to have 120 Hz refresh rate. So the Infinix Zero X Pro has the potential, as you can see from the specifications so far. So what I just want Infinix to work on is the pricing. If the pricing is right, the Infinix Zero X Pro might do well in the market. Like I said again, I'm going to make a full review and that will decide my full opinion on the smartphone. Now also, the smartphone is going to run Android 11 software out of the box on top of Infinix's own skin software. SOS 7.6. So the smartphone Infinix Zero X Pro will run Android 11 out of the box, and we don't know if it's going to upgrade to Android 12, but we'll talk about that in, our, in my full review by the time I lay my hand on the smartphone. Now the Infinix Zero X Pro is going to come with 8 gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of internal storage. As out of now, there's I haven't seen 
256 gigs of storage version i've only seen 8 gigs of ram and 128 gigs of storage there's also a space for micro sd so you can expand it if you think the 128 is too small so this is my first impression of the infinite zero x pro uh the second impression i'm going to talk about the camera the battery capacity and the fast how fast is the charging speed and lots more so i will advise you hit the subscribe button and turn on the post bell so you don't miss out when i will upload that video uh in few days time there are some things i have to con confirm concerning the i have to confirm concerning the camera when i do that i'll make the second video on the ifni zero x pro where i'll talk about the camera features the camera sensor the chipset and also the charging speed so uh, I'll also be dropping the Techno Camera 18 Premier video next in a few days time. So if you are a Techno fan and you're interested in Camera 18 Premier, hit the subscribe button and turn on the post ball so you don't miss out on that. But in the meantime, you've seen the first phase of the specifications of the Infinite Zero X Pro. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And how much do you think, judging by these features so far, how much do you think would be the best price for this smartphone? I would love to know in the comment section. I've been in the comment section for a while. Let me see your comments and let's talk over there. All right, it's my year. Thanks for watching and I will see you around in my next one.